So the question is, assess the view. It's got the word view. So I'm just basically going to, to be honest with you, just talk at you. I'm going to tell you exactly how I'd structure this question. I'm, I'm not going to question you. I'm just going to talk to you and model it for you, but my process. So assess the view. And view tells me this is a debate question. I have to go for yes, yep, 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 and then no. So view is telling me it's without about without doubt, sorry, a debate. Assess the view that social class, so social class, I think in colours and I think in grids, that social class, that blue grid, is the most important factor. They're asking me that is social class the most important factor? So is social class the most important factor affecting the educational attainment of children? So assess the view that social class is the most important factor. Well, educational attainment, there isn't just, entertainment just means achievement. That's all that means. Attainment just means achievement. So I'm basically breaking down the question. Attainment just means achievement. Saying to me, assess the view that social class is the most important factor affecting the educational attainment or achievement of children. But the educational attainment isn't just class, it isn't just the blue grid. The educational attainment of children is affected by a child's ethnicity. Oh. And it is affected by a child's gender. So assess the view that class is the most important factor that affects the educational attainment of children. But the educational attainment of a child isn't just affected by their class, it's also affected by ethnicity and gender. So, I know it's a debate. We haven't done a usefulness one yet. That's kind of purposeful, by the way. But I always aim for six paragraphs in a 35 marker, and as should you. You might not physically be able to do it, but you'll certainly try because six paragraphs uh, is likely to get you the top band, which is where you want to be. It's where the A star, A and B is. So it's a debate. So I'm going to do a grid of six or always aim for six in a 35 marker. And that does exclude an introduction and a conclusion. OK, it's six paragraphs. Um, in excluding an introduction and a conclusion. And this side of the essay class is the most important factor. That class is the most important factor that affects the attainment of children. That class is definitely without doubt the most important factor. That's going to be a blue side. I told you I was thinking grids and colour. Against, I'm going to say it's not class that's more important that affects the attainment of children. It's ethnicity. If you think it's a struggle, let me do it a bit. if you think it's a struggle to, um, I don't know, if you think it's a struggle to be placed into bottom set because of your class, perhaps we should consider the added disadvantage of what it is to be a person of colour. So this side is going to be ethnicity is more important because actually white groups aren't subject to racism. So this side is going to be no, it's ethnicity instead. I put it at the top there, but it's not letting me do it. So ethnicity. So that's going to be green. And it's not class that's more important. It's gender. It's gender that affects the educational attainment of children, not just class. And then it goes, Meh. you could choose whichever one you wanted, but I would go back to ethnicity. It's not class that's more important. It could be helpful if I could spell ethnicity, but it's ethnicity that's more important than social class. And then in a conclusion, pick a side if you can. You might want to cherry pick bits from both. So, what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to plan the paragraphs and the knowledge within them. 
Um, and then I'll look at the introduction and conclusion. I always plan it, which you should always plan it, because students that have less paragraphs, but it's well structured and planned, do significantly better than students who just run at it and have a good go. It's really important to plan your ideas. So this side is going to be class. My first paragraph will obviously class is the most important factor that affects the attainment. And I'm going to do material deprivation because I don't think, I think it's very difficult to deny that material deprivation has an impact upon the attainment of children. So class is an important factor that affects the educational attainment of children. Class is an important factor that affects the educational attainment of children, particularly when we consider material deprivation. Class is absolutely a factor that affects the educational attainment of children, particularly when you consider material deprivation. Let's get rid of the colour. Oh, goodness. Try again. Class is absolutely an important factor that affects the educational attainment of children, particularly when we consider material deprivation. So I'm trying to address the question at the start. And then I'm going to include Smith and Noble. For Smith and Noble, look at the impact of poverty. Smith and Noble, look at the impact of poverty. Poor quality housing, poor diet, with the noble look at the impact of poverty of poor quality housing, poor diet, for Forsyth and Furlong. They found that the most significant factor the most significant factor that prevents working class groups from university is the cost. That was a big huff then. Smith and Noble, look at the impact of poverty, of poor quality housing, poor diet. For Forsyth and Furlong, they found the most significant factor that deters working class from university is the cost. In terms of catchment area, some schools, so in terms of catchment area, some schools find themselves in more socially deprived areas. In terms of catchment areas, or the areas, schools, sorry, draw pupils. I need to go slower, I think. An area or the area that schools draw pupils, some schools are in more socially deprived areas. With more poverty. The class is an important factor that affects the educational attainment of children, particularly when you consider material deprivation. Smith and Noble, we look at the, at the impact of poverty, of poor quality housing, of poor diet. For Forsyth and Furlong, poverty or cost of university is the most significant factor that deters the working class from university. They said that when they were £3,000 a year. And catchment area, or the area that schools draw their pupils, is also material because some schools find themselves in more socially deprived areas with higher rates of poverty. It can lead to discipline problems and higher turnover and a higher turnover of teachers. Okay. 
with the Noble Forsyth and Burlong catchment area. I would just very briefly here as well, is just adding also that 38% of minorities, so 38% of minorities uh, live in poor quality housing. Compared with 18% of white groups. I think I put that on quite a lot of feedback. It's just quite nice to add it in there because what you're, well, it's not nice at all, but what I mean is, is you're just highlighting the crossover between class and ethnicity. Smith and Noble, Forsyth and Furlong, the catchment area, and also 38% of minorities live in poor housing compared with 18% of white groups. Those three pieces of knowledge. Then this shows, so this shows class is the most important factor. They want you to debate, is it class? No, it's gender. No, it's class, no, it's ethnicity. But this suggests, or this shows that class is the most important factor. It shows that class is the most important factor affecting the attainment of children as they may struggle to concentrate in lessons as they may struggle to concentrate in lessons It impacts on attendance due to higher rates of sickness. The class is the most important factor affecting the attainment of children. Working class children will struggle to concentrate in lessons. It might impact on attendance due to higher rates of sickness. Class is the most important factor. It affects attendance, it affects concentration, is what we're stressing there. We're being very specific about why those, why class is more important. However, hmm, social class cannot be the most important factor. Social class cannot be or it only being material factors. It can't just be material factors, folks, or just social class. When we consider that Bangladeshi students, the Bangladeshi students statistically experience the worst poverty of any ethnic group. However, social class and material factors can't be the only explanation. Bangladeshi students statistically experience the worst poverty of any ethnic group, but they perform above national benchmarks. I'm not suggesting, I know this before, I'm not suggesting that government shouldn't feed hungry children and that Marcus Rashford isn't absolutely right. All we're suggesting with our point about Bangladeshi students is it can't just be material factors, particularly if this ethnic group statistically experienced the worst poverty of any ethnic group and they're above benchmarks, not below. Just suggests, again, just a slight little reference to the question. It can't just be class that's the most important. It's important, but we can't just go home after this paragraph. Okay. Knowledge, three pieces of knowledge, four really, but catchment area, Forsyth and Fair, Long, Smith and Noble. This shows specifically referencing the question directly and being very clear about why it's having an impact on attainment and why class is having that impact. And then very clearly, well, it can't just be class because of Bangladeshi students. 
that's paragraph one. Again, do feel free if you've got any questions. I'll just check the chat if I am going too quick, do you say? Then we're going to go against. However, social class is not the most important factor. So social class is not the most important factor. When we consider that white groups do not experience racism, social class is not the most important factor. White groups don't experience racism going to do Professor Gilborn. Gilborn, he found that black males, black males are seen as a threat and disruptive. Black males are seen as a threat and disruptive. They are three times more likely to be excluded. and are often located into the bottom set. The Gilborn black males are seen as a threat and disruptive. They're three times more likely to be excluded than white groups and located into bottom set. So again, I'm not kind of trying to trivialize, but if you think it's a struggle, again, with material deprivation, you're probably being three times more likely to physically not be in the classroom at all um, and subject to things like um, microaggression. Black males are seen as a threat, a disruptive, three times more likely to be excluded and located into the bottom set. I always join him with Pilkington. For Pilkington, he found that there was racially discriminatory practices in the allocation. There was racially discriminatory practices in the allocation of pupils to sets. Oops. Always join those two together because they just kind of go hand in hand really nicely. Now, just going to check. Uh, I think you get, hmm, I wish I was in W, I wish I was in W23 now. Uh, I think it's 35 minutes. I will check, Patrick. No, that's 35 marker. I think it's 43 minutes. There we go. It's come back to me. 43 minutes. Um, now, if I put in here, Gilborn and Ball, that cultural capital shields um, children of colour, particularly black children, from racist setting, um, that's class. So if I don't think, well, ha whoa, hang on a minute. Cultural capital, middle class children have cultural capital and acts as a shield. Well, that's not ethnicity, that's class. That would suggest class is definitely more important. So I'm going to put them on the bench because it's not relevant here. I'm suggesting here it is more of a disadvantage to be of colour than it is to be working class. And I'm trying to beat that quite kind of quite structured and quite clear. Otherwise, it gets confusing. So what joins quite nicely with it is ethnocentric curriculum, because this is racism within the institution. And then what kind of ties in is also um, racism within the curriculum. So I'm going to add in Tilki et al instead of Gilborn and Ball, even though I know that they're in a, in a kind of a paragraph together in the grid. The grid is there as a kind of a general structure, but you may need to play with it. So for Tilki et al, Afro-Caribbean groups, because again, I'm particularly focusing on our Afro-Caribbean community. For Tilki et al, Afro-Caribbean groups resent the invisibility. They resent the invisibility, or they resent their, sorry, their invisibility within the curriculum. Resent the invisibility within the curriculum and the focus on white achievements. Remember, the focus is, it's not, it's not British history, it's white 
British history told from a very favourable view. Learning about colonialism of European countries is still British history, even if we don't like how we feel when we're watching it. It's still British, but then what they resent as a group for Tilki et al is the focus on white achievement, white contributions, um, yeah, and untold British history points as well. But they resent the invisibility within the curriculum and the focus on white achievements and being reduced to slavery. Having the, your whole cultural contributions reduced to slavery or study on slavery. So those three together, again, the theme is racism, but the ethnic minorities experience racism, which causes different rates of attainment. And any questions, do please feel free. You can. You can, Bella. I will slow down a little bit, though, because that's suggesting I'm going too fast. I get so excited doing things. I don't know. <laughs> so, Gilborn, black males are seen as a threat and disruptive. Pilkington, racially discriminatory practices. And Tilki et al. is going to replace... Gilborn and Ball, because Gilborn and Ball are, are actually are highlighting that being middle class is a shield, which would suggest that social class is more important because you've got the shield that is cultural capital. OK, so this shows social class is not the most important factor. These sociologists are showing us that social class is not the most important fact. So this shows social class is not the most important factor. It shows social class is not the most important factor affecting children's attainment. Social class is not the most important factor affecting children's attainment. Black groups are alienated by the curriculum. Black groups are alienated by the curriculum. And males are more likely to be excluded and males are more likely to be excluded so are denied access to the curriculum social class is not the most important factor black groups are alienated by the curriculum Males are more likely to be excluded, so not are not are being denied access or being denied being taught the curriculum. And are more likely to have their grades restricted. In bottom set. groups are alienated by curriculum they are denied access to the curriculum largely by being three times more likely to be excluded and they're more likely to be located into bottom sets which will physically restrict their grades i just kind of want to note here white groups largely benefit from the curriculum What I'm trying to highlight here is people of colour are disadvantaged in a curriculum that either ignores or kind of reduces to unhelpful stereotypes. We're trying to stress here that, again, white groups will largely benefit from this curriculum, not be disadvantaged by it. Class is not the most important factor. Racism within the curriculum causes alienation. It causes uh a denied, denied access to the curriculum and being denied those top grades and those top sets. And for largely, the curriculum is benefit to white groups. However, however, AO3, skill three. However, we have to come back and say, no, class is 
is more important or criticize these three. So I'm actually going to use Gilborn. I know he's already in the paragraph, but Gilborn and Ball. Because, however, for Gilborn and Ball, middle class groups, middle class groups who are of color. can use middle class groups who are of colour, can use their cultural capital. They can use their cultural capital to shield race, to shield their children. However, for Gilborn and Gold, middle class groups who are of colour, can use their cultural capital to shield their children from racist setting and streaming. That would suggest class is more important. If, I'm a, if, if my child was going to be located into bottom set because of his ethnicity, I can use my cultural capital to shield him. Therefore, class is more important than ethnicity, which is what you're suggesting of cultural capital is a really good shield. Just come back to that. Okay. Class, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, definitely class, because look at these specific things that impact entertainment. Mm, no, doesn't stand up with Bangladeshi students. Yeah, but white groups don't experience racism. These are the specifics. It blocks achievement, blocks attainment. However, if you've got cultural capital, that's a shield, which does suggest that class is more important than paragraph one, then paragraph two. Then I'm going to go back again to class. I go back again. Yeah, no class is more important. And I've picked the beefiest or tofuest, uh, the biggest paragraphs with the most sociologists in them, or the ones that can stand up quite nicely to just a bit of scrutiny. Okay. Right. Going to go back. Social class is the most important factor affecting attainment. Class is the most important factor affecting attainment. Class is the most important factor affecting attainment, particularly when we consider cultural. Because remember, so class is the most important factor affecting attainment, particularly when you consider cultural factors. Because for Sugarman, the reason why working class groups don't attend is because of their culture. They're so present, time orientated, and they're just always seeking immediate gratification. Class is the most important factor when we consider cultural. So I'm going to here is my knowledge. I'm going to do Sugarman. Sugarman, working class culture is a barrier to attainment. For Sugarman, working class culture is a barrier to attainment. There's a focus on immediate gratification and on being present, time orientated. So I know I'm summarising, well, yeah, I'm summarising the knowledge a little bit in places, but I wouldn't actually expect you to write much more than this for knowledge, which I know seems quite brief, um, because of those time constraints. 
but you kind of want to use all the knowledge, use present time orientation, use immediate gratification, use his name, but get there quite quick. You want it to be very dense in terms of concepts, but actually quite short. So they tend to be very focused on immediate gratification and being present time orientated as well. As being, or oh, yeah, as well as having fatalistic views, he will be. Oops, that's not my spelling at all. Sure, but I kind of get to the point with him. Sugarman. The only other person I can think in terms of culture is Bordia. Sugarman is the culture that's a barrier to attainment, the focus on immediate gratification, on being present, time orientated, and being fatalistic. What will be will be. What's the point in trying? For Bordia, working class groups are subject. To symbolic violence. Working class groups are often subject to symbolic violence where their culture is devalued in education. Again, that's really what I would write for Bourdieu. Yeah. The working class are often subject to symbolic violence where their culture is devalued. They often lack cultural capital. They often lack cultural capital. And the expectations of their social group or habitus often discourage them. Again, quite short. Sure that whole man's career <laughs> so working class is subject to symbolic violence their culture is devalued in education they lack cultural capital and often their expectations or their so their social group or habitus often discourage them okay i like three sociologists um, so does your examiner, because if I do run out of time, because I know timings a bit can be a bit tight. Um, I've done four paragraphs with three, six, seven, eight, nine. I've done 12 sociologists just in knowledge, not including the stats I'll put in the introduction. If you do like one and two and one, you've got to do more paragraphs. And I just find your this shows gets harder to make it more diverse and more specific. So my third sociologist, because I really want to push you to always push for three. For Gerwitz, because uh, Bourdieu's cultural capital, I think to myself, well, so is Gerwitz. For Gerwitz, Sharon Gerwitz, um, working class groups, I'm sorry, middle class groups, wrong way around, middle class parents. Our middle class parents are privileged skill choosers. They're privileged skill choosers. Middle class parents are privileged skill choosers as they have both economic, middle class parents are privileged skill choosers as they have both economic and cultural capital. Be sociologists. Again, I wouldn't actually write much more than that. Class is the most important factor. Culture can be fatalist. The culture can be devalued. 
and the culture actually your culture can be a huge huge privilege particularly with it's aligned with economic privilege as well or wealth or money those three shows this is normally in an essay where it will veer off into another question so you have to keep coming back um I can't remember too much of my A-level uh, sociology. Well, I can remember revising for my crime and deviance exam um, with uh, my cat on my lap. I can remember being sat in my crime and deviance exam. And I remember every single time I went to do the this shows, I remember reading the question. Um, there's probably two to the vague memories but it's really important every time you go to do this shows you come back to the specifics of the question it's so important so this shows mm -hmm, social class is the most important factor this shows social class is the most important factor in the attainment children it's class that's the most important factor that affects the attainment of children as working class groups favor employment working class groups favor employment and lack the cultural advantages working class groups favor employment and lack the cultural advantage advantages to succeed in education social class is the most important factor attainment of working that affects sorry the attainment of children as working class groups favor employment and lack the cultural advantage to succeed in education. They tend to favour employment. And lack the cultural advantages to succeed in education. However, Lynch notes, now Lynch is still saying it's class folks because he says it's just that material is more important than cultural factors because there's a disagreement particularly with Sugarman. He said, well, they're not, they're not doing the homework um, and they're not concentrating because they were up, you know, working all the additional hours. And then Smith and Noble are like, yeah, probably because they have to contribute to the family income. There's like a disagreement about why there's maybe a lack of engagement or such a focus on being present time orientated so lynch is still suggesting class is the problem so however for lynch class is still because i kind of think him well he's disagreeing with them rather than addressing the question too much but however for lynch class is still the most important factor for Lynch, class is still the most important factor, so that I am still addressing the question. For Lynch, class is still the most important factor, but material is are more important than cultural. So he criticizes them all because he says, well, look, material is more important than cultural. But to link him to the question where I can, he's still suggesting class is the most important, but that's because of material factors, not cultural ones. Just check the chat. Three pieces of knowledge. This shows is specifically addressing the question class is the most important factor because they tend to focus on employment, maybe less time to study. However, you know, class is still important, but it's still material that's of greater significance than culture. However, 
this question, because it's got attainment, remember I said to you, really wants you to debate, is it class that's most important or other factors? I've given them two paragraphs on class and one on ethnicity. So now I'm going to go to gender because the examiner would expect to see range here. They wouldn't just expect to see class and ethnicity. Otherwise, it looks like you have only revised those two grids and you didn't want gender. So, however, class is not the most important factor, um, but instead, gender. Class is not the most important factor that affects attainment, but gender needs to be considered. Gender needs to be considered. Okay. I'm then going to include three sociologists. So for Mitos and Brown, highlight him. For Mitos and Brown, teachers are less strict with boys. For Mitos and Brown, teachers are less strict with boys. They give them more leeway with deadlines. Teachers are less strict with boys. They give them more leeway with deadlines and expect a lower standard of work. Teachers are less strict with boys. They give them more leeway with deadlines and expect lower standards of work. Francis, Becky Francis, argues that boys do not see education as relevant. For Francis, boys largely don't see education as relevant to their aspirations. Boys largely don't see education as relevant to their aspirations and adopt an identity of effortless achievement. For Francis, a boys do not see education as relevant to their aspirations and adopt an identity of effortless achievement. And for Epstein, and for Epstein, working class boys in particular often experience homophobic bullying. Working class boys often experience homophobic bullying if they are hardworking and engaged. And if you look, there's that as a paragraph. It's not a huge amount of knowledge, but it has got three names. So it does give the examiner a good range and a happy news Jason Brown leeway with deadlines, Francis, uh, effortless achievement, and Epstein, it's the homophobic bullying that working class boys are often subject to. I'm going to combine those together. This shows, it shows class inequality. Oops. Clear enough. This shows social class is not. This shows social class is not the most important factor. So social class is not the most important factor that affects the attainment 
of boys. Okay, it's class, it's not class that's affecting the attainment of boys. Working class boys. are often subject to bullying. Working class boys are often subject to bullying and may receive uh, may be subject to bullying and experience lower expectations. This lowers their achievement. It's not class that's the most important factor that affects the attainment of boys. Working class boys often experience bullying and much lower expectations. And this combined lowers their achievement. So on the one hand, you're going to be subject to homophobic bullying by peer groups. And on the second hand, you've got lower expectations from teachers. Those two things combined are going to lower their levels of achievement. Class doesn't explain that. Okay, AO3, this is AO1, this is AO2, which is demonstrated by this shows and when you reference the question, and then you've got AO3. However, 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 one would note that in terms of kind of going a bit vague here or a bit kind of not so specific, but Epstein notes it's working class boys. So for Epstein, however, Epstein does stress that it's working class boys that experience homophobic bullying. She does stress it's particularly true of working class boys that are experiencing much more homophobic bullying if they're engaged. That would suggest that class is an important factor. I'm not kind of really taking one of the sociologists from the however part of your grid, but I'm just thinking, well, hang on a minute, you did just say class, and then, you know, someone isn't just in a, in a vacuum, you're not just working class, you can be working, you're working class and male, and probably of colour, they connect. If it's working class boys, that would suggest that class is an important factor. Consider. Okay, just check the chat. No more questions. Okay. Going to go back to class. However, class is the most important factor. Class is the most important factor affecting the attainment of children, particularly when you consider labelling. I'm going to do Becca. Becky, Becca studied 60 teachers and found, I would normally question you, but that's very mean to do so recording it. But Becca found 60, uh, studied 60 teachers and found they have an ideal type. They have an ideal type. And they interpret and they tend to interpret so 60 teachers and found they have an ideal type and they interpret working class behavior 
there's a lack of interest. They have an ideal type and they do tend to interpret working class behaviour as a lack of interest. So often when you're teaching a lesson and you can't, you sometimes, yeah, you can't gauge from students at all um, and you'll ask them and they'll be like, oh no, I really enjoy it. And you're like, I did not know that. I did not know that. Because sometimes students, students just don't look as interested. Um, and what he's arguing is particularly teachers tend to view working class behaviour as a lack of interest in school. Working class students are often labelled. Placed into bottom set, working class students are often labelled, placed into bottom set, where they internalise or accept failure. He teaches of an ideal type, ideal types generally more middle class. But they interpret working class behaviour as a lack of interest. Working class students are often labelled, placed into bottom set, where they internalise just means to accept failure and thus fulfil the prophecy. They have to, and I don't want them to, they have to give up. They ultimately fail because they give up. Now, they did give up because you did just put them into bottom set, limiting their grade, but they have to internalise. They have to accept, well, there's no point trying now, and thus they fulfil the prophecy. It's got to be those stages, labelled, placed into bottom set, internalise, accepting failure, and that thus they then fulfil the prophecy that they were going to fail and underachieve. Becca. Love Becca. Uh, for Ray, it's a professor, Diane Ray. For Ray, children as young as 10. Again, I always add her in because she's very contemporary, very current. For Ray, children as young as 10. And again, I think it really stresses if that internalization is happening very, very young. They, you know, by the time they maybe even go to secondary school, that internalization has already happened. So children as young as 10 um, have already internalized. Children as young as 10 have already internalized. And when she looks at Sharon, she says, Oh, what what you know, what are you working at for your SATs? She says, Oh, I don't know, like a, a three. And she says, What does that mean? She says, Well, I probably won't have a good life. You think, well. It's sat, um, and you're literally 10. Um, I can't even know what I got on my sats. So, yeah, children as young as 10 are already starting that internalization. It's very worrying. And for Hargreaves, and for Hargreaves, working class groups are often viewed as less intelligent. Working class groups are often viewed as less intelligent, uh, as low achievers. Working class groups are often labelled as low achievers and having less, being less intelligent. And the labelling often comes from their um, homes or backgrounds. The labelling about the level of intellect is often coming from the homes or the backgrounds. Again, three, Beck is the biggest. A little bit of Ray, a little bit of Hargreaves, but good range for an examiner. The theme is labelling, working class labelling. Mm -hmm. Okay, this shows, almost there folks, this shows working class, no, I'm veering off, <laughs> this shows social class. And tired as well. This shows social class is the most important factor. This shows social class is the most important factor affecting attainment. Social class is the most important factor affecting attainment. Working class groups. 
back in class groups are often placed into bottom set, limiting their grades. Working class groups are often placed into bottom set, limiting their grades. and causing them to give up education. In place into bottom set, which is physically limiting their grades, it's causing them to completely give up on education. Limiting their grades. That's why class is more important because those groups are more likely to be placed into bottom set. However, well, for Blackman and Mirza and Gilbo, uh, uh, Mirza, Shane Blackman and Gilborn, uh, people of colour often experience labeling and setting and streaming as well. The people of color also experience labeling and setting and streaming as well. And the working class, so sorry, Blackman, Mirza and Gilborn, people of color are often labeled and set and streamed as well. And Black girls work hard to resist labelling and do well in spite of question is why can't the boys like working class boys? For Blackman, Mirza and Gilborn, people of colour are also labelled and set and streamed as well often due to ethnicity and black girls actually often work hard in spite of it. So best labeling doesn't just apply to class. Blackman, Mercer and Gilborn, people of color are often labeled and set and streamed due to ethnicity and actually, black girls do work very hard to resist labelling and do well in spite of it. So it was really interesting. And it was a very good criticism of, of class and labelling and also Gilborn and kind of males and being placed into bottom set. Because Afro-Caribbean girls generally do very well in spite of it. Okay, last one. However, however, class is not the most important factor when we consider language barriers. When we consider language. So I'm going to do, get rid of you. Just checking who's still there. <laughs> right, so and when you consider language, so for Modud, Uh, Bangladeshi, particularly uh, Bangladeshi and uh, Pakistani students tend to suffer the worst, suffer the worst in terms of fluency. Bangladeshi and Pakistani students tend to suffer the worst in terms of lack of fluency particularly when English isn't spoken at home. This one's quite short, which is why it's my last paragraph. Bangladesh and Pakistani students seem to suffer the worst in terms of lack of fluency, particularly a problem when English isn't spoken at home. Uh, Laboff agrees that language tends to disadvantage our Bangladeshi students in terms of fluency, but the often black pupils 
how good uh, linguistic skills if encouraged. Bangladeshi students do tend to struggle with fluency, but black pupils have good linguistic uh, skills if encouraged. Sure. I'm not adding in Bernstein because, again, I'm trying to keep this just as green, but I will be using him in a second. So really only two sociologists there. I know you're thinking, well, you said three. And you're like, yes, I did. <laughs> I do encourage you to aim for three. But sometimes it's not possible. I can't make up other sociologists who mention language. So it's just going to be those two. But the reason why they're last is because there's fewer names. And again, if I run out of time, better to run out of time on a paragraph of two very brief sociologists than one with three. So this shows social class is not the most important factor. This shows social class is not the most important factor, but ethnicity. <laughs> this shows social class is not the most important factor, but ethnicity. Because students may struggle to understand the content or the teacher. Students may, this shows it's not social class that's important, but ethnicity, because students may struggle to understand teachers, the curriculum. Teachers may struggle to understand, students may struggle to understand teachers, the curriculum, and exam questions. It's social class is not as more important as ethnicity because students may struggle to understand teachers, the curriculum and exam questions. If English is not spoken. Remember, these children are still bilingual. They still you know, speak two languages, but it's the lack of fluency that can cause a difficulty in understanding the curriculum. However, well, it doesn't quite stand up though, because <laughs> uh, our highest performing ethnic groups um, are Chinese and Indian, and they outperform white British, even when English is not their first language either. So it's not social class, but ethnicity. And again, with Bernstein, I get he's talking about language codes, and I understand elaborate language codes can be a difficult barrier. Oh, I was watching the other day. I'm quite into um, TED Ed videos on YouTube. So it's like five minute videos of really kind of interesting content. Um, and I can't remember what I was watching, but I literally had to pause it four times, do a quick like Google of the term so that I could understand it and then go back to it and like move it back. That actually, you know, elaborate language codes are a barrier. We think, oh, I don't know what that term means. I need, I need to Google that quickly. But it's not actually the same as a lack of fluency um, in terms of real language barriers. So however, though, for Gilborn and Mirza, this doesn't prevent, however, for Gilborn and Mirza, this does not prevent Chinese and Indian peoples. This doesn't prevent Chinese and Indian peoples. Who are the highest? Who are the highest performing ethnic groups, even when English is not their first language? Doesn't prevent Chinese and Indian students um, who outperform. They're the highest performing ethnic group, even when English is not their first language. Doesn't quite stack up. Oh, 
all my knowledge paragraphs. Class, no ethnicity, no class, no gender, no class, no ethnicity. Okay, I'm just lastly going to conclude, uh, briefly talk about the intro, then I'll get you to take a break. Okay, right, conclusion. To conclude, reach my judgment to conclude class oops, to conclude class is a significant factor class is a significant factor that affects the attainment of all children. Class is a significant factor that affects the attainment of all children. I'm going to prevent the, maybe from the most. I'm still addressing the question, but just altering it slightly. Social class is a significant factor that does affect the attainment of all children. It can cause lower rates of attendance. It can cause lower rates of attendance. A lack of concentration. And can seriously limit the grades of learners. Grouping them together. Lack of attendance, lack of concentration and can seriously limit the grades of learners. I do accept that, and it does span across ethnicity and gender. But I think to leave it there, and obviously I'm not going to say I, but to leave it there would, and to not recognise the additional disadvantages that it can be within society it, it just feels really wrong so i'm going to lead, do this so yeah class is definitely an important factor it lowers atten attendance it causes a lack of concentration and it can seriously limit the grades of learners however however to solely take this stance to say, yep, 100% on that side, thank you very much. To solely take this stance is to ignore the additional disadvantage, is to ignore the additional disadvantage that people of colour But to solely take this stance would be to ignore the additional disadvantage that people of colour face. And to not recognise that to be white is a privilege. And you are not subject to racism. Now ultimately, so I'll just go back over there, however to solely take this stance is to ignore the additional disadvantage that people of colour face and to not recognise that to be white is a privilege as you are not subject to racism. That said, yeah, okay, class is definitely important. But I think to just to only consider that is not to consider uh, different privileges that we all have. I think the, I've reached a conclusion. I think the examiner definitely gets a feel for my sociological judgment without saying I. That's my conclusion and I'm sticking to it. Right, last bit. Introduction. 
in the introduction, we outline, okay? So we would say there are huge issues of different educational, sorry, there are huge issues in terms of, there are huge issues in terms of differential attainment in education. There are huge issues in terms of differential attainment within education. Twenty-one percent of free school meals pupils achieve the five in English and maths. There are huge rates of there are huge issues in terms of differential attainment. Twenty-one percent of free school people free school meals pupils achieved a five in both English and maths. Average was 46. There was an 8% gap in gender in terms of 2020. And Afro Caribbean peoples achieved 39%. And the average is nine. given the stats, given the overview that there is gender, class, and ethnicity differences in terms of attainment. Some have argued. that class with material, some have argued that class with material and cultural factors is the most important cause. Huge issues in terms of differential attainment, free school meals, gender and ethnicity. Some have argued that class with both material and cultural factors, because I've got two paragraphs on those, are the most important causes. But others have suggested that racism and gender with labelling need to be considered. Where they get an overview that my paragraphs against with they've suggested that racism and gender with labeling also need to be considered they get the overview of where the debates go in with the stats okay 